Hello, everyone, from Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine. This is senior editor Bill Apter today with a special AWA press conference, and we're talking with uh, a man they've called the champ several times in the AWA here, Nick Bockwinkle. Welcome back to the AWA. Hi, William. How are you? Good, good to, to see you. Good, good to be back. I've heard a rumor, and uh, we haven't printed this in the magazine yet because I want to check it out with you first, that you were contemplating putting the tights back on and uh, asking to get a shot at Larry Zabisco. Is there any truth to this? No truth whatsoever. Okay. Uh, I, I just don't think so. I mean, somebody says, well, isn't there some way they can entice you back into the ring, and I'm not sure there's that much money. Okay, well then, what is your purpose back here in the AWA? Next? I'm going to be doing the color uh, here on ESPN and uh, for the AWA around the country. Okay. And it's just nice. Uh, it's something that's been a love of my life, a uh, four times heavyweight champion. You know, you get into it, you can't help yourself, and, uh, and it's something that will never leave me. Well, since you've been around uh, and a four-time champion, as you said, who are some of the people here in the AWA that you feel will be the future of the AWA? The person I'm very impressed with is, is Johnny Stewart, mm -hmm. illustrious Johnny Illustrious, Stewart. of course. Uh, and I think what I like about him is uh, the fact that he seems to have a real strong mental approach to the sport. Uh, and that, to me, this is, aside from having a lot of muscles and wrestling ability, it's very much a thinking game. And uh, it's very much a mind game. It's an ego game when these guys get out there and how they play themselves against each other mm -hmm. and the little, little nuances that the people don't even know are taking place. Right. And he seems to have a lot of that put together, and he's only 22 years old, so that's, that's a very, very impressive thing. Okay, Derek Dukes? Derek Dukes, I think, is, I, th I think what Derek needs is maybe just a couple more years of seasoning. I think he's very, very good now, but then still at the same time, what happens is, uh, it's one of those sports where you really don't become seasons almost until you're 30 years old. Mm -hmm. It takes that long to learn. And, uh, and so that's, that's what I would say with Dukes. He needs a little more seasoning okay. to get right there, to be a constant threat. Right. One last question. The AWA title, as you know, is worn by Larry Zabisco at this time. Do you feel that he's bringing uh, an air of uh, little ugliness to this belt? Careful. Over the years that I was a heavyweight champion, you know, I wasn't always loved. I know that. Okay, so there would have been those who had said that, too, about me. Are you proud of his reign? Uh, am I proud of his reign? Uh, not, not as much as I'd like to be in respect to the, my respect towards the championship itself. Uh, he's very, very competitive. He's very capable. He does have the ability to be a champion, and he's been proving that in, how, in the fact that he can hang on to it. Right. And that's so much, it's not so much, they have to beat him. Okay, and that's okay. the whole thing. All right. And if they can't do that, then, then that means he is the man. Okay, squashing the rumor about him coming out of retirement to go after Zabisco. This is Bill After with uh, former AWA champion Nick Bockwinkle, and we'll see you at the matches. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Bill.